I'm an engineer at heart, so some would say the best way to share a little bit of history about myself would be through a presentation, maybe a PowerPoint, a Gantt chart, maybe even a feasibility study, but that's not really me. My engineering career began in public works in 1983 while I was still in university. I was attending UNB Fredericton. I took summer jobs in St. John working survey crews, utility inspection, and even working as an operations engineer. At the same time, I received some advice from the City of St. John Chief Engineer, Charlie Robuchel. He told me, find a small town, settle in, settle down, and commit to that community. Little did I know that that little town was 10 minutes away from my hometown. There, I began my career as the town engineer. Now, as people began to retire, instead of hiring new staff, as most small towns do, the council of the day saved money by adding to my duties. Sound familiar? All their duties got added to my list. I was now the Director of Engineering and Works, a fancy title for more responsibility. By the mid-1990s, the community growth was such that we added back people in those much-needed departments. Yet, I still retained the overall responsibility. It was about this time that I began to experience the true feeling of a public works career. It was at my first Canadian Public Works Conference in New Brunswick, and especially at my first Congress in Atlanta in 2004, that I realized public works is filled with very committed people. Now, as a Canadian, as you might expect, I've played a lot of sports over the years. Athletes, like in many activities, have to be prepared for what's coming at them. How do we do that? We practice, we commit to our sport, to our role, to our team. It takes time to get really good at what you do. Be patient. Learn the basics. Learn the tricks. Your team is there for your community. So you must learn together and react together. Reaching your goals may mean that sometimes you'll have to deflect things that are not in your favor. Sometimes you are going to be that last line of defense. I also took up judo as a kid. I wasn't getting beat up or anything. It was another fun sport that friends were doing. It's also a place that teaches courage, respect, modesty, and honor. I committed. Here at the dojo, we practice our moves, our kata, against a competition that may be bigger than us or stronger than us. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but you commit. Sometimes the goal is to just survive that match, the snowstorm, the flood, the fire, but more often than not, we win. Now, I am positive everyone here has a similar shrine somewhere in their office, maybe without PW paws. Mine is a reminder of what truly matters. It's another aspect of commitment, focusing on what's important. For me, it's a surgeon, a teacher, a lawyer, and an IT specialist. For intelligent, independent women committed to their careers and families. My wife Sal and I are so very proud of our daughters. Family, community, and loyalty. Here in Quispam Sis, I'm proud to be a part of the team committed to growth and improving the quality of life we all enjoy here. What we do every day can be challenging, confusing, tiring, and rewarding. You never know where those moments will take you. Dare to journey into new opportunities. While on that ride, focus on the present be present and be accountable. Appreciate the journey by making frequent stops all along the way, like this. Remember to celebrate the people, your experiences and your successes, even the failures that help you learn. Never be afraid to take that big swing. Dream big, think bold. Just like we do with our families, our communities, sports teams and other activities, commit to your pursuits. Like right now, I've got a need for speed. When you set your mind to it, you can do anything.